Good morning, students. In the last class, uh, we have started chapter four, that is animals and their food. Today, we are going to study about modes of feeding. Different animals eat different types of food, so their manner of eating is different. Their mouth is also modified, changed to suit their mode of eating. The kind of food. and the eating habits are directly related to the shapes of mouth jaws and teeth of the animals first we will talk about talk about how grass eating animals eat their so grass eating animals are those animals those who are eating grass grass eating animals chew and swallow their food herbivores like goats cows buffaloes have sharp front teeth to bite or eat the the grass they swallow their food at a time that means um cows and buffaloes they bite the grass and swallow it later they bring back the food into their mouth chew it slowly this is called chewing the cud and such animals are called ruminants so how grass eating animals uh, get their food eat their food grass eating animals chew and swallow their food next flesh eating animals flesh eating animals like dogs and lions have sharp long and strong pointed curved teeth to tear the flesh because they have to tear the flesh so their uh, teeth are little bit curved so that it will become easy to tear the flesh they have strong grinding teeth why they are having strong grinding teeth to chew the flesh you know animals like crocodiles and alligators have a large mouth with sharp long and pointed they snap at animals which come to drink water because they are uh, aquatic animals so whenever any animal uh, comes to drink water near the uh, river pond they snap at those animals and uh, who came to drink water now we will talk about some other animals how they eat their food first we will talk about elephants you all have seen elephants elephants use their trunk to tear off grass and branches and put in their mouth elephants have large grinding teeth to chew and grind their food they drink water <coughs> with the help of their trunk some animals are there uh, there are some animals who nibble their food nibble means uh, these animals they will eat their food by by uh, biting it into small pieces mice rabbit squirrel and rat nibble or gnaw their food they have sharp front teeth in both jaws the upper jaw and the lower jaw uh, next there are some animals who lap their food next we will talk about lapping of liquid Food. You all have seen dogs. How they are uh, drinking milk. This is known as this way is known as this way of drinking milk is known as lapping of liquid. So cats and dogs they lap liquid like water, milk, with their tongue. Cats have rough tongue. They have sharp edge surface which help them to lap liquid and groom their fur. some animals suck their food some animal uh, some insects like butterflies mosquitoes honey bees flies they have feeding tube instead of mouth they are not having mouth they are having feeding tubes and this tube is known as proboscis and proboscis works like a straw and these insects they use proboscis to suck liquid like nectar that is present in the flower and mosquitoes uses this proboscis to suck blood so what is proboscis proboscis is a long tube for sucking nectar from the flower 
Now it's clear how all these organisms eat their food. Uh, now we will start reading. So open your book. Take out page number 29. Shall we start? Modes of feed. The kind of food and the eating habits are directly related to the shapes of mouth, jaws and teeth of the animals. Grass eating animals. Goats, cows and buffaloes have sharp front teeth to bite the grass and they swallow it at that time. They chew it well afterwards by bringing it back from the stomach with the help of strong writing teeth at the back. This is called chewing the cud. Some animals, such animals are called ruminants. Do you know? Goat and cow are the only animals which have only lower set of teeth. Flesh eating animals. Dogs and lions have sharp, long and strong pointed teeth to tear the flesh. They have very strong grinding teeth which help them to chew the flesh. Animals with modified mouth parts, butterflies, flies, honeybees and moths have their mouth parts modified as proboscis. Proboscis is a long tube for sucking nectar from the flowers. It remains spoiled when not in use. Some other animals. Some animals such as rabbits, squirrels and rats, nor the greens, fruits and seeds. They have a pair of very sharp front teeth in both the upper and the lower jaws. They are called rodents. Amazing fact. The kangaroo rat does not drink water throughout its life. Cats and dogs use their tongues for lapping up the milk and water. Snakes, lizards and frogs do not chew their food. They swallow it as a whole. The largest land animal, elephant, uses its trunk to break the twigs and sugarcane sticks. The trunk is also used to suck water and put it into the mouth. I hope you all have understood this. That's all for today. Bye-bye students. Have a nice day.